Hi, my name is Melissa and on behalf of the Mimic Foundation, I'm here to share with you some Chrome extensions that I think you will find very useful with distance learning and when you get back into your classroom as well. The first one I'd like to share with you today is Print Friendly in PDF, which I've had for a couple years on my Chrome extension. It's also a website that you can use where you can take any URL, copy and paste it into the preview, um, and it will turn it into a PDF for you. So for example, um, I have an article here. I teach business, so I have a lot of business articles that I share with my students. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste the article inside of it. Instead of me printing this page off for my students and, or sharing it with them with tons of advertisements um, and videos and so on, it takes all of those out. So um, looks like there's a photo here. I'm going to go ahead and delete where it says Nerf Photo. Um, if I scroll down, there was another video here. I want to delete that. Um, this at work coronavirus poses a new threat to gig economy workers that would also be deleted because that's a link. Um, and the at work. So as I go through here, I can delete um, different things that I just don't need to share with the students. Um, and it allows me to, instead of maybe printing off a four page article, turns it into a two or three page article because generally many articles have a lot of advertisements in them. Um, when you finish this, you can choose to print it, you can choose to save it as a PDF or you can email it. When you do have pictures in here, you're able to change the size of the pictures. So sometimes instead of them being 100% in size, I would decrease it down to 30% because again, if I'm gonna print this, I don't want to use a lot of paper. Um, I prefer to share things through Google Classroom. And sometimes you can change the text size depending on the students that you're working with. Some need a larger text size. But this also has a browser extension. So if you go in and you search for Chrome extensions to go to the Chrome Web Store, instead of using their website, you have this alternative. You can download the print-friendly PDF Chrome extension. And this is it right here. And I've actually already added it to Chrome, so you can see it up here in my Chrome browser. So I don't have the option to download it again, but this is where you would download it if you wanted it. So instead of copying the URL and putting it into the print-friendly PDF website like I did before, what I would do is I'd just go to the web page that I was looking at. So in this case, um, I was on CNBC. And I would click on the print friendly PDF. And it would automatically turn whatever website I was on into this. So you can see how the pictures are much larger, that pictures are actually included this time. Um, maybe I'd like to bring them down to a size 25 instead of um, leaving them as large as they were if I was going to actually print this off. Or maybe I do want to delete them entirely. So I can just hit the delete button. Um, or the trash can, and I can delete whatever it is that I'd like to delete. Um, and again, it gives me the option to print this, to save it as a PDF, or to email it to people. Um, so again, I, because I share so many articles with students, I often use this a lot um, to put information up on Google Classroom and to share it with my students. So this saves me a ton of paper, and it also saves me from having a lot of other things on my screen. And that is Print Friendly PDF. And I like to use this in conjunction with another Chrome extension called Snap and Read. Snap and Read is another extension that I like to use. And this allows you, you first of all, you, I, I believe you can try it for free. We have it at our school, so I know that I believe our school pays for it. Um, but I know that there is a free version. Um, I'm not sure what the difference is between the free version and the version that we have at our school, but I want to show you what it is that we have. Um, I teach in a district that has a lot of ESL students. so. What Snap and Read allows us to do is to turn um, articles into speech, do a screenshot reader where it can, um, if the text isn't accessible, they will read it out for you. And my favorite thing to do is to simplify the words. So any difficult word that gets in my student's way, if I click on a button, it changes that word so that it becomes an easier word for them to read. So I'm going to demonstrate how to use this. And again, I have this just downloaded as a Chrome extension as well. This is it up here, so let me quickly sign in. So I clicked on my Chrome extension, and now I have Snap and Read, the options over here. 
And again, what it allows you to do, these are the different tools. We can do translations and capturing and PDF support. But I'm going to go back to that same article. And uh, the first thing that I want to do is maybe I have a student who needs to hear things verbally. I'm just going to highlight the beginning. And I'm not sure whether or not you'll be able to hear what's happening simply because uh, I have the headphones in, but you might be able to. Self-employed and gig workers may have to wait a little longer than other jobless Americans to get their unemployment benefits. But this just read that out loud to me. Um, there's also the option for the screenshot reader. So if I want to take a screenshot of something and have it read it to me, I'm just going to highlight the second paragraph here. And again, it is going to read this out loud to me. Again, I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear it or not. The new coronavirus relief law is IGNI can't be handed the financial assistance it gives to out-of-work Americans, partly by EXPA and DINGPA to groups of workers who were previously ineligible. So it did not, it was unable to tell me how to spell or how to say significantly or expanding. It spelled out the words for me. Um, so the beautiful thing about the next button that I'm going to show you is this is the simplify button. So perhaps significantly and expanding will turn something different. Uh, I know the words have turned it to a different word um, or a simpler word if they are italicized. So self-employed and performing job. Performing job before was a gig worker. Um, significantly didn't change, but where it says financial help that previously said, um, or what it, financial help means is relating to managing money help. Um, groups of workers who were previously ineligible before that, before now, that's what previously means. But the claim filing process for these groups has been stuck in delays. So stuck in for this means mirrored in. So originally it said mirrored in, now it says stuck in. So you can see that the words are changing and wherever they have ital there are italicized words, you can click on those to see what it meant or what it means, giving people options. Oops. Other thing that I really like is this. I don't know. Ah, there we go. Now that it's on, um, it for students that might have trouble staying on one line at one time, this highlights the lines as you're reading through it. So it highlights the paragraph and then the particular line that you're reading. So students are better able to stay on track. So the two Chrome extensions or two websites that I've shown you today are Snap and Read um, and Print, print Friendly and PDF, which I would both recommend for you to download and to play with. Um, I think that they will make distance learning easier for you. I think it will also make teaching easier for you and easier on your students. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and be safe.